www.newtoboss.com. My name is Ty. The video that we are doing right now is still a part of the video tutorial series for a Huawei HG521 uh, modem router. We're trying to configure that, show video tutorials and how you can make changes, how you can do advanced changes on that, create Wi-Fi, configure, uh, upgrade firmware. In case you're trying to to understand your modem router right now, which is Huawei HG521, try to learn things about that. Maybe you can check out the playlist that we have about that HG521 modem router. Just check that out on the list of the YouTube videos that we have. Right now, what I'd like to share to you is how you can use a feature, the advanced feature of a Huawei HG521 router. It's called WLAN filter. All right, so let me just show that to you. Open your browser right now. Just type in 192.168. I've changed the IP address, so I would log in as 10.1. Log in as an admin, not a user. Password, let's type in password in there. And again, we're going to use uh, WLAN or wireless local area network filter. Uh, basic, click on basic in there. On the left side, then go to something that says WLAN right here. It's going to give you two tabs, WLAN and WLAN filter or filtering. Here, this is where you'd be setting up your Wi-Fi network. If you don't know how to create a Wi-Fi network yet or to set that up or to make changes with a password, set channels, change SSID, match channels, uh, just again, look that up from the list of the videos that we have. But right now, we're going to make use of this right here, something that says WLAN filtering. You have to enable that first. Uh, it's going to work on that a little bit. Uh, the reason why you want to do WLAN filter is you can be able to blacklist and whitelist uh, devices in there. So it would give you this panel right here, filtering mode, blacklist. You say blacklist, you don't want them to connect to your Wi-Fi network. Uh, select SSID. This is the existing SSID I created. and with this uh, Huawei Echo Life HG521, you're allowed to create five networks or five Wi-Fi uh, IDs broadcasting in five different networks. But let me close this and let's bring it back to the existing SSID that we have. Source MAC address. Uh, free to whitelist and blacklist, you'd be needing the MAC ID address of your of that specific device. You just have to look that up in there. Uh, the format should be like this. Sometimes it's 0205 colon and just type that in there and just click on submit and click on new to add more. Click on submit and that is the part where you don't want them connecting to your network because it's selected as blacklist. But if you'd want to allow only those devices uh, with blacklist it's a little bit hard because you wouldn't know really all the the addresses of maybe your neighbor's PC if you're trying to access that trying to hack into your to your Wi-Fi you would never know what their MAC address sometimes yes you can on the logs but you wouldn't know if there's a new one that they're trying to connect but to make everything secure just do a whitelisting if you click on whitelist, you really want to change the mode filter to whitelist. Yes, okay. If you do whitelisting, you're just going to enlist all those that you would want to connect. Let's say you have four devices, then look up for the MAC addresses of your four devices, list them all in here, click on submit, then you're somehow secured. You would you would be uh, thinking so that there are only four devices you will allowed to connect. All those that are trying to access from outside, then they will be filtered and they cannot connect to your network. Alright, so that's about it. I don't want to do that right now, so I would just click on, I mean, uncheck enable. If you just would want to disable that, just click on, I mean, uncheck enable. It's going to do that little bit and then remove that panel right here. You can just click on log out to. Uh, somehow freshen up everything. Boot back up your modem, boot back up your PC, 
uh, it's a standard protocol that refreshing devices. If you have for some other video tutorials, you can check out trippertobe.newtoboss.com and please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the subscribe button in there so we can fund up for more videos, more tech videos, more Pancit Canton videos, and more Pancit Canton recipes. Lucky me. Just cl click on subscribe. I'm gonna see you back in the next video and please do visit our website, trippertobe.newtoboss.com. Okay, my name is Ty. Thanks for watching.